hair like our for hairstyles it's one and done and I'm just like like <laughs> all this work I put into this and you're trying to tell me it's a one and done like it's devastating so Welcome back to the Pom Pom Sisters YouTube channel. My name is Shantae and I am the mother of the three beautiful Pom Pom Sisters. And today we are working on my middle child, Lonnie, on her flexi rod set that we did a couple of days ago. Her curls came out super, super cute. I absolutely fell in love with the little spiral. And this was my first time attempting the flexi rod set on Lonnie's hair. Now, Lonnie has type 2 hair. Um, it's very wavy. It has a nice body wave to it. It does doesn't coil very much doesn't even curl very much like it's only parts of her hair that is really super curly and some parts is more of a body weight So the products that I use will be the Cream of Nature Coconut Milk for Natural Hair. I use the Detangling and Conditioning Leave-In Conditioner. The Detangler um, Leave-In Conditioner was perfect for Lonnie's waves when I had to brush through and detangle her hair. And her hair goes very easily. So I had to make sure that I always keep a detangler on hand. So start, I started out with dry hair. Her hair was washed like maybe a day or two ago and I don't put a whole lot of product in her hair because the product buildup can get very like it makes her hair very sticky so I don't use a whole lot of product when it comes to styling Lonnie's hair unless I'm doing a style that I know requires some kind of hold and I use the curl quench foaming mousse And for the foaming mousse, that worked just as perfectly. I didn't have any flaking or cakiness. I already had flexi rods already on hand, so I didn't have to go out and purchase those. I don't know the size of them. It was just what I already had. Once those products were applied to her hair, I take my roller and I wrap her hair around it. I don't really like twist it. Like I've seen a lot of videos where people end up twisting the hair around the roller, but mine's I just wrap it. I wrap it around the roller rather than twisting it and it gets that really tight ringlet. So to begin the style, I spray on the leave-in conditioner, detangle, and then use the foaming mousse. I use anywhere from two to three pumps depending on how thick and how long her hair is in certain sections. Now her hair is the one that I have the most difficulty styling right now because it is completely out of my norm. Now for my hair, I have type four coily hair. I have type four kinky coily hair. My oldest daughter has type three curly hair. My middle daughter, Kehlani, has type two hair, very wavy and body waves. And my last little girl, Callista, my toddler, my two year old, she is right now in between being curly and wavy. Um, my girls are mixed with black and Filipino. I'm black and their father is Filipino. I, I wrapped her hair, we sit her under a dryer. She sat under the dryer for only 15 minutes and we left them in overnight so she did sleep through her rollers but she actually did really well sleeping through them. The next morning when I went to go take them out there was maybe a couple of curls that had um, loosened from the roller but nothing too nothing too bad like it was still workable so once I removed all her rollers I take my three, th three fingers here and just rake through her curls to give them more body and volume and they looked super adorable. She looked like the cutest little Shirley Temple with her little ringlets. I absolutely love the look. 
I want the style to at least last two or three days. With Lonnie's hair, I'm still learning on what I can and can't do to it because what I do for my hair or my oldest daughter hair, Cal, doesn't work for Lonnie. So it is a lot. I, I really have to think outside the box when it comes to her hair. Now, when I um, do a style on my girls or on myself, um, and I want it to at least be preserved for the next day or two, um, when we I send them to bed, I put a bonnet or a wrap or a scarf on their head to try to you know preserve their hairstyle, which is what I did for Lonnie's hair. I bought her a bonnet and I put her bonnet on her, sent her to bed. The next morning, it was a complete beehive on her head like it was so matted and so tangled and it was so frustrating I definitely should have recorded or took at least took a picture of it I was just so upset when I took that bonnet off and I saw that those curls had completely matted into a ball on the back of her head struggled with Lonnie's hair and trying to find styles to in ways to keep it cute because she sometimes feel bad and I don't want her to feel bad that her oldest sister has these nice you know styles and she's her hair is so versatile she, but I also want Lonnie to be in love with her hair so I've struggled with that and I've also beaten myself up as a mom with trying to get her to love her natural hair because I want her to be in love with her hair not to the point where she grows up and all she wants to do is straighten it or put a perm in it like I want her to love her natural it's not her fault and I try my best not to show my frustration around her but it can be so like it lets me down so bad at least sometimes but her hair is gorgeous and I want her to love her curls so I brushed it out that morning um, and the curls still actually looked really good she ended up looking like she had a, a body wave like I took some wand curls and just brushed them out for her so they still really look good and I took a picture like I think doing my hair like braiding cornrows like that's arm tiring detangling a matte ball no like that that is super tiring and something that I'm not used to and have to, you know, realize that this is part of Lonnie's hair routine. Oh, I'm posting this video as, you know, to try to help other moms out who have biracial kids. I am like trying my best. It is, it is a complete struggle, but I am trying my best with it when it comes to styling Lonnie's hair. It, it looks beautiful. It just doesn't last and I have to make sure I get as many pictures next time because if I would have known that look would not have last but that day I would have taken like 50 more pictures because it was so devastating it was so hurtful so I will attempt the flexi rod again and do a more updated maybe like for the first day of school or something I might do it because they were super cute like they were so first day school curl ready hair was done like she looked like she was ready for her kindergarten class but stay tuned because as i'm always learning i also want to share and help any other moms who are also struggling with biracial kids so we will see y'all on our next video thank you for watching and please let lonnie know how gorgeous her curls are down in the comments because she she needs those that boost she, I want her to love her curls. I want her to grow up and not straighten or add chemicals to her hair because she doesn't like the way her hair, you know, does. And and, and we, we should live in an age where we applaud our natural, beautiful Don't girl. forget to subscribe. Come on and join the Pom Pom game. Like I said, we are a work in progress. We have a lot of first times going on our YouTube channel. And we want y'all to be a part of the process. We want y'all to be a part of our journey. So join us. Let us know what you think. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram as well. I do post on Facebook. Instagram is my more active account. And we will see y'all on our next video. Thank you so much.